So BCMB is one of our flagship graduate student programs. It includes seven different departments, ranging from neuroscience all the way to pharmacology. What is great about having a big program is, in fact, you have all of these colleagues everywhere you walk. These are people that you've seen in class. These are people that you've seen during your rotations. And so it, what it does is by bridging all these departments, having this big program brings together all of the community here at the medical school. You just organize it by particular characteristics. So in this case, so we we're in like our third day of our computational biology boot camp, And right now we're learning how to manipulate data sets using Python and pandas. And uh, it's new to me, but it's pretty cool actually. So I'm having fun. Great, Bill Parker, great. And so then you have the array. Tell me, tell me what's next. If you look at the, like the 20th century, it can be easily argued that the 20th century was the century of electronics. But the 21st century is gonna be the century of biology. These students are gonna be generating their own data in their lab at the bench. And we need to give them the, the tools and, and the skills to be able to look at their own data, to process their own data, and to understand what their data means, to model it using modern computational tools because BCMB is an umbrella program. Our classes are on a broad range of topics, so I appreciate being able to get that knowledge from all over the biology, chemistry sphere and not just one specific topic. So now we'll go image these cells, see how well they're I think that from BCMB, the training that I got really, really gave me the foundation to do very interdisciplinary science. So science that bridges expertise that's within different departments to really do the type of research that I want to do. Previously, everything that I have done is through textbook, through classes, and things are well established. And for things right now, it's, it's never been looked at and it's new and people haven't studied it. And I think as a scientist in training, I think that's exciting in itself. The structure of the program is such that when students enter during their first year, they uh, go through rotations uh, in different laboratories. And that gives them an opportunity to sample each of those laboratories, to understand a little bit about what kinds of scientific questions they ask. And equally importantly, what is the feel of that laboratory? How does the PI, the principal investigator, interact with the students? How do the personnel in the laboratory interact with one another? And to get a sense of whether or not this is a place that they could, would feel comfortable calling home you know, for the next four or five years. For me, I think the, the real key to Hopkins and to BCMB is the people. You can do fantastic science in a lot of different places, but there are a few places where it's a supportive, collegial, happy place to do science and where you feel like the people around you really want you to succeed, right? And I think you feel that at every level here in BCMB and at Hopkins. The students all want each other to succeed and that level of interaction, collegiality, collaborative spirit, that just is pervasive here. And that's what I think makes it a really, not just a place that you can do rigorous research, but you're excited about doing it and you feel supported as you do it. So here we're actually looking at two different immune systems, one that has a very active or strong CRISPR system and one that has a very inactive or weak CRISPR system. Essentially I'm trying to get um, this thing called the plasmid outside of the E. coli cells that we're using just to produce the DNA. So here's the infection that I've set up and um, I'm just going to pick the individual plaques that the pathogen caused and analyze them um, under the microscope to see how they grow uh, after a period of infection. For career development, we've, I think we've done an outstanding job here. It's called the Options Program. Our students are required to take part in it starting in their second year. And it exposes them to any one of a number of different sort of career trajectories. It could be academics, it could be biotech, it could be consulting, it could be law, it could be teaching. We also offer opportunities and internships. We encourage them as the students get to be senior. They can take three or four months off, they're paid, and it, it, it helps them to, to figure out what they want to do next. This is the main lab, my lab mates. There's just so many people that you can run into and you, you notice them wearing the BCMB name tag and you're like, oh hey, are you in BCMB? And they're like, oh yeah, and then it just starts a conversation like that. Outside of lab, a lot of us still hang out together and I think people kind of form from groups around interests like hiking or climbing and there's a BCMB soccer team. Oh! <laughs> yeah, so um, like Baltimore is great. Like I love the food scene in Baltimore, so I restaurant hops all of the time. In Baltimore, you're very close in proximity to DC too, not far from Philly, not far from New York. So I'll go to many a music festival like as a grad student. <laughs> 
part of the joy of being in a program like BCMB is that we have these colleagues who work on, on this wide array of scientific topics. But in a way, we all speak the same language. We all value scientific inquiry and we all value the opportunity to do work that is meaningful both at a scientific level and at a translational level. To me, the, the most exciting thing about science is that you never know where the next thing is going to come from, where the next big discovery is going to come from. And so I think giving our students the tools to probe biology at a really mechanistic basis, they're going to go out into the world and they're going to be looking at really interesting biology and who knows what they're going to discover. I mean, that's the most exciting thing to me is that as long as you're asking cool questions, we're going to find really exciting things that really impact humanity in, in ways that you couldn't know.